Malkin Bert Cooper. Champion of the world, Evander Real Deal Holy Since Holyfield looks dry and a little cold, will he come out here and let him know he doesn't have a chance to win, or is he going to let Cooper build his confidence? Well, you know, I, I think this first round is very significant. It's again, in, significant again in front of the hometown people, maybe trying a little. And Holyfield starts out establishing the jab. Cooper throws a long right hand and misses. Bird is most effective. Good body punches by Holyfield. Cooper loses his balance. He was in serious trouble there for a moment. And Holyfield hit him twice when he got himself straight. Holyfield wobbled him, wobbled him a little bit with that left hook. And he got an uppercut in there, too. Who is groggy for a second? Holyfield with a chance for an uncharacteristic early knockout. He's not. The right cross was a beauty. And down goes. That's a left hook in the body, Jim, was the punch that really hurt him. After the right hand, he dug a left. Cooper comes over the top with a right, but he left himself. There's that quick right hand of Cooper's on the inside. Very effective with that right hand, Cooper. He looks as Get those punches up. Let's see a guy go down like a body shot. Well, Evander is surprising me. He's right there. He's fighting, fighting with a fighter. And this is what he said he wouldn't do. Holyfield off balance after missing the right, but he comes back with a left to the body. And Cooper's covering up again. Well, Evander is getting the best of this round, and it's a tight round. Because he would have to box and move against him as he will against big heavyweights, including Tyson. He just heard in the corner, they're telling him to go for the body. Apparently, they saw a soft underbelly there. Was following orders, apparently, because that was as wicked a body shot as you'll see him ever land. He get up and he's bombing back, as you can see there. He's determined. We've got a war early on. Holyfield's co-trainer Lou Duva about the mental adjustment problem of fighting somebody on one week's notice, and Duva said, well, I want my guy to get hit a couple of times in his career. Of course, that was his Frazier was teaching. Right hand to the body by Holyfield. Cooper wobbles again. Good uppercut by Cooper. That was the Mike Tyson combination. Wide right hand to the body by Cooper inside. And the right hand. There's that sneaky right hand right on the button. One, it's been an even fight. To a close, Bert Cooper establishing himself. Evander Holyfield banging away. Sit down, no. Slip his punches on the way. So, all right, the war, come on. I don't know how much longer he's prepared to go at this pace. But on the other hand, they're telling Horner to play a little bit more defense. Holyfield lands a left hook, and Cooper wobbles again. Cooper grins as if to say you didn't hurt me. That usually means you did. Instruction was quit tying him up. You waste a lot of energy that way. Bang to the body instead. All the time. And again, even though Holyfield, in my opinion, is winning the fight, he's fighting Cooper's fight. And there's that big, there's that sneaky right hand of Bert Cooper's. And Holyfield wobbles in the corner. The champion in trouble. Cooper bangs away. Holyfield almost goes down. Mills Lane's going to call it a knockdown and give him the count. Evander Holyfield forward in the third round by Bert Cooper. There's that sneaky and right hand, hand, Jim. Holyfield in serious, serious trouble. And he's overworking that right hand. A long way to go. Holyfield almost went down again. Holyfield just really doesn't know where he is right now. He 
his head is starting to clear. He's like fighting the Vanda Holyfield up. And Cooper may have punched himself out a little bit with that flurry. Oh, what a right hand by Holyfield. And now it's Cooper who is standing stock still. Oh, what a sensational right cross Holyfield landed to start this rally. But Burt Cooper won't go down. You're looking at one of the okay. men. Holyfield misses the right. Cooper lands. Here comes Evander, though. Just trying to outgut the other guy. There's that sneaky right hand again. Bang, right on the Holyfield chin. Wobbling as the round comes to a close. But it shocked a lot of people. Here we'll find Cooper coming in. Though he was tired, there, there's the punch. Holyfield paying the price of not fighting the fight. He, and here, this is just an example of one man's information guild. He has never been knocked down. Tremendous conditioning. And he took over that round. But Larry in a heavyweight well, fight. One punch by either guy. Bud Cooper, he's got he got nailed with some. He punch told us yesterday that he would round. never quit again. That's exactly right. He's proven it now. We guarantee I'll never quit, and he's not quitting. A left hook bomb inside by Cooper. Slow so dangerous, punch. particularly for a big fight. Cooper's punches seem to have slowed down now, Jim. I think that. Holyfield was going to fight this kind of a fight, and I still felt he had win the fight. But again, Bert Cooper has been the more active fighter by far. Big flurries. Cooper grinning again. Holyfield lands an uppercut. Spotted that in Evander Holyfield's corner. But Cooper is definitely slowing down now. years but they sure have a good one <laughs> and side and bang up to the body but that's what cooper's been doing to him up there's a big right hand and now cooper's, cooper's in well. trouble holyfield banging away with the right hand but burt won't go down oh look at that these are awesome punches and cooper has just about had enough and he decided not to quit he almost quit and decided not to do it. And he'll take punishment for The uppercut's been the punch, Jim. There it is again. The uppercut's the punch. There it is again. Evander found the key. There it is again. Yep. Left to the body, right uppercut up the middle. He's landing. overdrained coming into this fight. Cooper lands a left hook. And round five. Take your time and pick the shots. Stay inside. No. Let's let's take a look at the effect of these uppercuts. Look at that beautiful uppercut by Evander Holyfield. And watch the way he works. There it is again underneath. How Bart Cooper is taking that. You know, what? There, there goes Evander again. Anytime he lands a punch, he stays still and waits for the receipt. Waits for the guy to hit him back. And now, some of the writers here are going to write tomorrow that if Evander had fought this way. Cooper tried the body shot uppercut tandem down by the referee. Another uppercut. I'm surprised that Evander Holyfield isn't using it when he can use a good stiff jab. Cooper with two overhand rights and Holyfield left. Oh, what a bomb uppercut was. But Cooper keeps coming back. There's another one. That's his first loss after being hit by one punch. Cooper didn't go to the body at all. But he started to do it again. But now Holyfield rips another uppercut and Cooper standing stuck still. This could be it now. Only 15 seconds to go in the round. Not much time for Evander. Cooper staying right there. Target practice. But he's not going to get it. 
I don't think he's going to get it. Mills Lane has seen enough. Mills Lane stops the fight. And I thought Mills Lane's part. He, he well, no, no, he's getting closer to between four and five. Let's take a look at this impressive barrage, this fusillade of hard punches at the end of the round. But his bonus will be the fact that he will get more fights against some of these young heavyweights. And, and look, at, look at Mills Lane. He's right there, has the action right in front of him. Kurt Cooper. The official time, referee Mills Lane. Holy field. 